Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Tower of God New World. I can already hear the White Knights coming in the comment section. If you don't like expirable, suspend them, then quit the game. Sorry, buddy. If I see a problem in the game, I'm going to address it. And if you don't like it, bye bye. But anyways, in this video, um, I wanted to show you guys a really nice team comp against Data Mash in Underground Laboratory. Now, is this the best team comp against her? Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's other team comps that are way better. But when I was fighting her, I was pretty much testing uh, the because I, I was pretty much testing out the brand new uh, balance buff that they implemented to see if you know the the bosses are a lot easier to fight. Not easier, but if we can deal you know pretty good damage against bosses in underground laboratory. But uh, I think I think they you know balanced it just a little bit. But the boss buff is still there. Like they the bosses are definitely still buffed. But this is pretty much the team right here so the number one thing that you have to look out for when it comes to data machine is her immortality and you pretty much have to use a unit that can interrupt her immortality so using a characters such as if i come over here to my roster because i can't do an attempt because i already used them all but if you're using awaken rack awaken rack is great against a uh, data mash because he's able to interrupt her immortality and another great unit who can also interrupt a data mash's immortality is this unit right here. If I can actually find a unit, where's this unit at? Where's this unit at? I'm trying to find a unit. I, I apologize, guys. I really apologize. But the unit should be somewhere around here. Yes, Kim Lurker, this guy. Uh, not, but that is a guy. Lurker Kim. So this unit is also very good when it comes to interrupting Data Mash's immortality in Underground Laboratory. So a lot of people they're using Kim, uh, Lurker Kim, and Awaken Rack. But another great unit who can interrupt Data Mash immortality is this unit right here. If I scroll down, Larode. Larode is absolutely amazing against a Data Mash when it comes to interrupting her immortality. Plus, if you have his revolution, not revolution, but exclusive equipment level four, it says sets the physical and magic resistance of isolated enemies to zero. So Larode is just perfect uh, in this team against that mash. Now, that's just the icing on the cake. Now, when we dig deeper into this team, so you have Larode who's pretty much interrupting that mash and also setting her physical and magic resistance to zero. But we also have Warun, support Warun. So she is extremely important in this team. And the reason why is because her revolution, a uh, tier five, it says increases attack of allies on the path of on the path created by guides guidance by 100 percent So putting that with Kaiser is so good, but the main problem with her pathway is Warun, since she's a melee support unit. She's going to go right in front of Data Mashini and she's going to place her pathway directly opposite from Kaiser and Kaiser won't be able to pretty much receive that attack buff. So that's one of the biggest problems with Huarun is that when she places her pathway down, uh, she doesn't really target your allies. She's just targeting the enemy and that's pretty much it. So range units, they pretty much lose out on that 100% uh, attack boost. But Blarode, Blarode literally fixes that. He fixes that because Blarode... He brings Data Mash to your team, and then Warun, she's pretty much going to face your team, and she's going to place her pathway down, and her pathway is going to go pretty much this way. And Kaiser is going to receive the buff because she's standing on it. So when it comes to setting up this team formation, you want to make sure that you set it up exactly like this because uh, Blunk Ref 5, really good. She's going to increase uh, Kaiser's attack by a lot right here if you have her Revolution Tier 5. And of course, Garam, very, very great against bosses. And then, of course, you have Kaiser as your main DPS. But Blarod and Huarun are extremely important in this team because without Blarod, Huarun, she won't place that pathway down on Kaiser. I'll say 80% of the time, Huarun will place the pathway near Kaiser and Kaiser will receive that huge attack buff. So I'm going to go ahead, cut the yapping, and replay this for you guys. I wish I could do another attempt. But I can't because I used all of them. So we're just going to replay this. And this team is really, really good. Now, for players who have, you know, a higher power than me, you guys will definitely be able to do a lot more damage. So this is what the team uh, pretty much looks like and how it performs. 
So you see the immortality right here. The road activates ultimate. So he wasn't able to interrupt because data mash was pretty far away. So I will say uh Blarot, his interruption isn't consistent, like you know, awakened rack, but he is still important to put in this team. So just waiting for data mash, and plus when data mash when she uses her dash attack, she's gonna come all the way to the back right here, and then Horn is gonna place her pathway. So this is a perfect example right here. Realize how Horn when she places the pathway nobody is standing on it kaiser isn't standing on it so therefore kaiser isn't going to receive that buff but that mash is right here farming places the pathway there it is so kaiser now has that 100 attack boost and she's going to be able to deal a lot more damage so this team formation is very very good but like i said farm when farm when she'll be able to uh place the pathway near kaiser I'll say like 80% or 70% of the time, but you definitely have to use Blarode in order for a Blarode to drag Data Mash to your team so that Huarun can place the pathway towards your team. So this was one attempt right here. And I'll say out of all the like out of all the pathways that Huarun placed, uh she was able to place it near Kaiser like I'll say three or four times, which is honestly pretty good. So let's go ahead and play another attempt right here. Uh, we deal less damage but i'm pretty sure for this attempt uh huarun she placed the pathway closer to a uh, blue road and as you guys can see for this team i use bomb and the reason why i use bomb is for the energy regeneration but i wasn't able to deal a lot of damage compared to my first attempt now for this attempt right here i'm pretty sure i used a uh, bomb as well yes i did so this was the only attempt where i used blue road and huarun and it was pretty much my uh this was pretty much the most damage I was able to do uh, with these characters. So, highly recommend you guys to uh, try this team out. Uh, is it the best? Don't know. But it is definitely fun to use. And you have to copy the exact formation. Like, this formation is very important. Especially uh, Blue Road and Huarun's uh, formation. Like, their placement on this team matters. So, copying the exact formation, the exact placement very very important i think you can swap out a uh, blanc and you can put in like you can swap their positions you can put garam up here and blanc in the bottom it doesn't really matter for both of them but for kaiser blarod and warun you want to make sure that kaiser is next to blarod so that when blarod pulls data mash Warren places the pathway near data mash and uh kaiser is receiving uh that 100 attack buff so I don't know how I ended up coming up with that. Like I was just doing some testing and then I just wanted to try something new and I ended up forming that team. It was honestly, honestly pretty good. So when we come over here to the ranking, I mean, I made it to rank 50. Am I in rank 58, I think? Yeah, I'm in rank 58, so I'm not in top 50, but I was able to make it to a rank 58. Honestly, I can do more damage if I just spend more money, but not gonna do that. But that's pretty much all I wanted to go over with you guys in today's video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.